everyone, I'm Elena and I'm a sophomore at Okemos High School. A fun fact about me is that my favorite animals are birds. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to draw a hand turkey for Thanksgiving. To make a hand turkey, the materials you need are going to be your hands, a piece of paper, a black marker, and any other color of your choosing. Here's step one on how to draw a hand turkey. Take your hand that is opposite of the hand you write with. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be placing my left hand on the paper. Place it flat on the paper and take your marker and outline your hand. So I'm going to be choosing brown for this because turkeys are normally brown. You're just gonna place your hand on the paper and trace around it. Your hand may get a little bit of marker on it, but that's okay. Make sure to use washable markers. Once you reach your wrist area, remove your hand. Right now, my hand looks like this. Now, we're going to connect the two ends of our hands. Like this. Now we have the base for our turkey. Now that we have the base of the turkey drawn, we can add in some details. The first detail that I would add in would be the eye. So I wanna draw it right near the tip of the thumb. And you wanna make it fairly big as well, just so that it'll be noticeable. Like this. Now we can add in a beak. So let's take our yellow marker or orange and draw a small triangle at the tip of our thumb. like this. Lastly, we can add the waddle of the turkey, which is a, it'll look like a little worm when we draw it. So let's take our red marker and draw it like a tiny little squiggle right underneath the beak. And we're gonna color that in. And there's our turkey, it looks so cute. Next, we're gonna take our black marker again and we are going to draw wings. So we're gonna start in the middle of the hand and we're just going to draw a wing-like shape. So it can either be like curved or you could make it spiky, whatever looks great. So I drew mine like this, a little bit spiky on the spikier side, but Turkey's wings come in all different shapes and sizes. Before we start coloring our turkey, we're gonna draw on its legs. I'm going to be taking the black marker again, but you can use red or yellow, and we're going to be drawing little feet on the bottom of our hand, the turkey. So I'm just going to draw two little lines coming out like that. And then I'm going to add two lines going out front like this. Then I'm going to add one line going the other way. So it looks like it's standing. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to color our turkey. So I'm going to be taking brown for the turkey's body. The first thing I'm going to do is section off my fingers on the paper. So just gonna draw little curved lines like this so that it will have an easier time coloring them. Now I'm gonna start coloring the body of the turkey with the same color brown. Just wanna be really careful so that we don't get any in the feathers which are the fingers.
I'm back and I colored the body of the turkey. I left the wing blank because I want to take a different color of brown and color it in so that it will be more noticeable. So I chose brown for the turkey, but if you want to make your turkey like really colorful, go ahead and choose a different color. Like I think blue would look really nice, maybe pink, maybe orange. We're almost at the end and we're almost going to finish our turkey. The last thing we need to do is color in the feathers. So to stay true to the original hand turkey, I was going to choose red, yellow, and orange to color in the feathers. Here's our orange. So all we need to do is color in the lines of their fingers. So I was going to use orange here, red here, yellow here, and then repeat orange again. Once we're done coloring the feathers, you are done with your turkey. The last thing to do is to sign your name at the bottom. So I was going to sign my name right along the thumb line. Just like that. If you want to give this drawing to someone, you can write Happy Thanksgiving at the top, which is what I'm going to do. And our turkey drawing is complete. I unfortunately ran out of room at the top, so make sure that you start your Happy Thanksgiving further to the end of the paper so that you don't end up in the same situation like I did. And that is it for our video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you remember to keep reading and learning. Bye!